and quickly. Welcome back to the Portable Podcast. You're watching for Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. And yes, who is Durval is exactly? To, to understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun <laughs> god. His mind was broken. Yes, and John he believed Snow that blood sacrifice would King. solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. Ah, so that's why. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. <coughs> He's wrong. like Azog the Defiler in Lord of the Rings. Or I need to get going. I know. <coughs> well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Ursa Who Sagan. says that? Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. What do you need, Aloy? I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well. I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all? While men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? They're frenemies. I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. <coughs> Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the claim have become <coughs> jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. That's right. Durval has to fall. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out the fortress of Sunfall to the west. I'll wipe them out, for sure. Like him, they care only for domination <laughs> and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I have to go. Understood. Let's go, Aloy. Let's shoot these uh, Shadow Karja Osaram Durvals. Yes. Let's go. So, I thought Ursa was dead, and I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't <coughs> seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister. And get some payback. I hope Murad's guy grabs us the lead. 
Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while. Sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but he wouldn't let it go. Oh, not to mention the fact guy. that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dumbbag. Grazer-licking. Grazer-licking. Avad seems <laughs> committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. And some people say they shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. Just kidding. Oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on finding her and kicking Durval's ass. Kicking Durval's skinny ass. I better go. Time Don't stand go. me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa <clears throat> needs us. Aloy, how can I be of service? It's Where obvious that you're an advisor to the Sun King, but what is it you do exactly? <clears throat> Whatever is needed, of course. Are you always so evasive? It depends. Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. That's a spy. You were right about Avad. He seems genuine. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him... to his enemies. It was the best I could do... for the Sundom. What did you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. So why do they call you Blameless Maraud? Well, it depends on who you mean by they, and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. So they say. But you keep talking to him. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. I prefer likely or probably. So I'm you're not sure. are clever enough for this ruse. Capable of building the weapon you described. He hates Durst, oh, so... Gold. More than one? Not likely. <clears throat> Durval? Quite probably. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Asara, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. Dangerous toys? Oh, man. I have to go. Then you must. Nasty toys. So where am I supposed to go now? My God, are you kidding me? I have to go all the way here. My God, yeah, this is going to be some trick. Now I really need to find a steed, something I can run with.